in decay and growth is we add or we subtract. So if it's decreasing, then we would subtract the rate. So for 23, um, it would say that it's half-life, it's, it's talking about a particular isotope. The half-life of phosphorus 32 is 14 days and there are 6.6 .6 grams initially. So my initial, my initial amount is 6.6 .6 grams and the half-life is 14 days and I think that's enough. And so part A says um, write the uh, function as a function of time. So the there's a couple of ways you could do this. Half-life is easy because it's going to be um, it's always going to be one half. All right, but it, so basically, let me write it down. So A sub T, the amount I'm going to have as a function of time is going to be the initial amount, which is 6.6. .6. But after the first day, or after a half-life cycle, how much will I have left? Half one half. So that's my, that's, yeah, but it's one half times 6.6. .6. Now, how long does that take, one cycle? 14 days. So I need to figure out a way to write 14 days as being one cycle. And the easy way to do that is to say t over 14. So after 14 days, that's one whole half-life cycle, right? If t was equal to 14, then when I plug that in, I would get 6.6 .6 times one half. And then from there, you can go through and solve for b.